Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to another English video of my channel. As I promised you in this video, I will discuss about the universities in Turkey which has our training courses. We will discuss all of the details. I will tell you all of the universities that they have uh, part of training courses. We will discuss about the tuition fees and the requirements for enrolling in these universities. So again, let's go and come back. Welcome back and as I told you in this video, we will discuss about the universities. Which university has the pilot training courses, which is the best, what is the facilities that they provide you. Compared to the money that you pay, these are our uh, video, today's videos topic. So let's go through it. The first option that everyone thinks is how can we study pilot training courses, pilot training major, without paying money. By the way, if you didn't watch my previous video, I will put the link here. Go and watch it before because if you don't don't watch that video, you cannot understand this video. This video will be in two parts. This is the first part that I will speak about the universities. And the second part, will speak, I will speak about the private education the schools of pilot training. So, as I told you, the first option that comes to everyone's mind is how could we study pilot training without paying money? And so, I don't, I don't want to say this is not impossible. Yes, we have a university called Eskişehir Teknik, Eskişehir Teknik University. Eskişehir is a city in the Turkey, which is a very good city for students, in which they are studying university. And Eskişehir Teknik University is the only private, uni only government, excuse me, government university which provides the pilot training course free, totally free. And so, how could we go there? Is it possible to go there? Eskişehir Teknik is the first choice of all of the airlines in Turkey. If you go to that university, if you study there, if you graduate there, 100% you will find a job in aviation industry. So, but the worst thing about this university is the quota of that university, the quota. The quota of this university was 10%. It means that only 10% could go that, to that university. Right now, it decreased to 5%. So, why it is decreased to 5%? Because government of Turkey said that the, uh, the amount of money that every, each student takes to become pilot is so high, and I can't afford it. So, we decreased the quota of that university from 10 to 5%. It is obvious that when, when a major in universities has just select 5%, definitely that they will select people among of the Turkish people, not the foreigners. So, it is, to sum up, we can say that it is, uh, it is something, it is a little bit impossible to go to that government university which provides pilot training major. So, let's forget that. The best choice for foreign, foreigners is selecting a private university and go and study there. So, uh, there is some rankings in my mind by my own because before I record these videos, I I go I went through all of these space. I find universities had make research a lot of research about the, about making research about the instructors of that uh, schools. And in conclusion, I can find some ranking for myself which I want to share with you. So the first university that we said is. It was uh, Eskişehir Teknik University. Uh, I wrote all of the universities li list here and I want to go through this list. The second university that I select was my own university, Özyen University. Just wait for it, okay? I will, I will uh, explain why I choose this university in the second place. The third university, the third university, or we can say the second private university that I want to say, which foreigners can go, is Türk Hava Kurumu University. And it is a Turkish, but if we change it to the English version, 
It is Turkish Aeronautical Association University. The third it is I will just speak about it. This this uh, fourth uh, fourth university is desert. Excuse me, Asia Turkish Aeronautical Association, and third is Atalum University in Ankara. Fourth KTO in Konya city of the Turkey Konya. Fifth Antalya building in Antalya, and five or six I don't know I forget the order. Bahçeşehir University and Aydın University. So these are the rankings that I said. Why the ranking is like this? Why I choose the Aydın at the bottom of the list and Özyen in the first of the private universities? So let's first discuss about why I select Özyen in the first place in this list. Özyen started to teaching pilot training courses since, if I don't, if I am wrong, uh, about 2010 and 2011. Özyen started to open this major. Özyen was the first university which brings a real Boeing 737-800 series real simulation in the university. Yes, we have a simulator of Boeing 737-800 series in our university, which helps students to practice before going to interviews with companies, airlines. So, it is the second uh, advantages of Özyen University. By the way, it is not advertising, guys. I will speak about it, but it is not advertising. Because uh, I don't have even 1% of a scholarship in this university. And I don't want to, you know, do, you know bring universities for this uni for OZA. I'm not giving, they don't pay me. I don't have any advances from this. I just want to clarify the way that you want to go. So say all of the possible ways and you will select which is suitable for you. Okay? So, we have a real Boeing 737 simulator in our campus and the most, the most, the most important part of the, this university is the cooperation with airlines. Before that, we will mention that uh, all of the, you know, instructors in this university are aviation related instru instructors. I just want to say some university's name, for example, ID University. The instructors in this university was not so much really related to aviation. You know, they, something like mechanical engineering, I don't know, mathematical engineering. But they were teaching in aviation. It does not make sense, okay? And the most important part of the Rose University is Rose has the cooperation with Pegasus Airline. What does it mean? It means that if the Pegasus Airline opens the second pilot position or type education position we will speak about uh, the you know higher getting finding job and get hired process in another video but just uh, take this in your mind that if pegasus opens position for hiring pilot second pilot first officer OZA pegasus should choose you uh, students from OZA because they have cooperation and we can say half of it or less than half of it belongs to Ozea University. This is a cooperation. If you go to the website of the Ozea University, you will see that in the bottom of the website that uh, this university has cooperation with Pegasus. Another reason is this year, 2022 or 2023, Ozea University's aeronautical uh, faculty, you know, aviation faculty, chosen as the best aviation faculty in Europe by SkyBlue. If you are an aviation lover, you know that what is a sky, what is a sky blue, what is a sky, a sky aliases. And if you don't know, go and research about it. What is a sky and why a sky choose Ozea University as the best uh, aviation faculty in Europe. So we will continue after a small break. I will, uh, you know, get all of the information together and I will speak other universities too. So. We will come back. Welcome back. So, we discussed about Ozzy University. And again, I'm saying that this is not an advertising video, guys. I don't have any scholarship from that video. And I just want to mention that Ozzy University doesn't provide even 1% of a scholarship in pilot training courses, guys. I'm serious in this question, okay? 
because the AE doesn't provide even one percent of a scholarship for aviation for fire training courses keep this in your mind okay again keep this in your mind you will never have a scholarship in Ozzy University, okay? Or we can say in most of these universities, because the aviation and the pilot training courses are expensive, especially the flight part, uh, these universities doesn't provide uh, a scholarship. The only university that provides me a scholarship was Atalam University, Atalam. And this university provides me 25% scholarship, which was not, again, too much that I want to go to Ankara. So, again, let's go from this list to the third and rest of them. I will put the two tuition fees links under the description. I don't want to speak about the tuition fees right now because maybe a person will watch this video a year later, two years later, and this, this uh, because of the Turkey situation, again, these prices will, could be changed, definitely will change. And I will put the updated uh, tuition fees links of each university in the description. You can go and watch these tuition fees from there. So the second university that I want to discuss is Turk Hava Kurumu. I will write all of the universities name here, pictures here. Turkish Hava Kurumu or Turkish Aeronautical Association University. This is, as I told you, this university is just for aviation industry. Okay. Why I didn't choose this university? The first was I was living in Istanbul for one year. I don't want to go through it, but you can just understand this that I was in Istanbul and I was stable in Istanbul for one year. It was a little bit hard for me to change my place and go to Ankara. The second reason that I didn't choose this university, which is a special university for just pilot training and, you know, for flight engineers and everything about the aviation was this university is a little bit a little bit military vibe university the social lab here is not too much as i as i heard this from the youtube videos and you know the turkish people was discussing about this because i can speak turkish and i heard from them that don't come to this university if you want to live have a social life spend your time with your friend I just want to say that if this was the campus, the campus building, they, this is the runway, okay? This is campus, it's the runway, and this is the ramp between those two of them. What is the ramp? The place that uh, airplanes park parks there. The, and again, if this is just aviation purpose university, and if you can go there, it is one of the best choices for starting pilot training. The third university, Atalam University. Atalam based is in Ankara. Atalam is a university, not like the previous university, which is normal university for every major. And again, it has pilot training courses. So, one of the advantages of Atalam University is Atalam has their own uh, hangars and flight bases, as same as the previous Turk Hava Kurum universities or Turkish Aeronautical Association University. They are safe. They have their own. Uh, they have their, their own hangars, their own airplanes, and the, is the time schedule is in their hands. So what time? Why I you know keep saying that the hangar is for themselves, the airplane is for themselves, because the other universities such as OZA have a you know cooperation with a third person what is what who is that third person another flight school because university doesn't have the opportunity to give you the aviation licenses where does that aviation licenses come from in OZA for example another aviation school what is the aviation school this is a school not university it is an aviation school which which has cooperation with OZA that is IJET okay and uh, OZA works with iJet. So, um, what does it mean OZA works with iJet? It means that first year you will go to OZA, okay? Second year, first semester, again you are in university. But when you finish the, you know, uh, theoretical lessons, second semester of the second year you will go to flights. 
flight schools agents. You will go just to the airport home, airport home. You will not see the university, okay? And you will fly, practice your flights and achieve your aviation license in that flight school because uh, OZA doesn't have the opportunity to give you the aviation license. None of the universities have, just two or three of them. The third university, again, which has their own flight bases, it means that this university does not work with a third person. It's all of these universities, all of these facilities belongs to that university is Keteo Karata University. Keteo Karata University uh, placed in a Konya city of the Turkey. It is not a very interesting city, but for studying. But again, if you can consider this university too, the, in the next place, we can say Antalya Bilim. And Antalya Bilim is another good university for studying pilot training based in Antalya, the only private university in Antalya. And another in the next place, Bahtashir University. And under that, Aydın University. So let's talk about Bahtashir and Aydın. And I know that most of you know these two universities. Why I didn't select the Bahtashir University? You know, the Bahtashir and Aydın University's pilot training majors was new, very new. And it means that these universities, no one was graduated from this major in that universities. I think the Bahtashir will graduate get out the graduation this year and Aydin will finish their first fellow we can say the fellow are the are the you know the the people who start with each other and finish with each other going through the classmates in aviation for example we can say fellow because the boss shade doesn't have any graduated fellow this will they will have and Aydin three years ago after this video I think they will have a graduated fellow. You can consider this university one year or three years after today to see that if these universities are good enough or not. Thank you for being with me from here and if you have any question don't hesitate to ask it in comments ask it and again I'm mentioning that uh, I don't have any scholarship from Uzzain. Uzzain doesn't provide any scholarship for none, no one, for no one. Most of these universities like this too. And I was not advertising my university. I just want to clarify the way that I went to become in this place. Thank you for watching. I will put all of the uh, tuition fees in description. Please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in our next English video. Goodbye.